Scorpio viewers. Today I'm going to be looking into what your person is feeling, thinking, wanting, what action they might be taking towards you. Let's just see what the cards want to say. So over the next couple weeks or so, can please give me clear and direct messages. What do Scorpios need to know about their love lives right now? What is the story? What's going on? Trapped under, oh, trapped understanding, high priestess of spirit, high priestess of air, lust, playful reversed, and love upright. Okay. I think with this connection, you feel kind of trapped, like, but you have these epiphanies coming in. Like, I feel... I don't know if this is the same group that I channeled. I, usually the groups stay the same. Occasionally the groups will change, but usually it's the same. I think it's pretty much always the, the same group that I continue channeling, you know, continue channeling the story for you guys. If I'm not getting many viewers on a certain, in a certain um, Zodiac group, then sometimes the story will change to a new group. But I feel like for you guys, this is probably the same group we got before. And you, the reading I, I got before was basically somebody was wanting your, their life Somebody was wanting your life to revolve around them. Somebody was coming back around, but they were wanting things to go back to how they were before. They weren't really, they, they were very codependent. They had a very codependent kind of toxic energy. And you've made a lot of life changes since you've been with this person. You've really put yourself first. You've really focused on your business, on hobbies, on the things that you love, on friendships. You know, whatever makes you happy, you've put yourself first more. But I think when you're with this person, they were just so codependent that it's like you had to just focus on them all the time and you couldn't have a life outside of them. They were too jealous and insecure and bitter. Um, and so I feel like this person has either come back around or they're close to coming back around, like they're in your energy field, they're wanting to come back around. And I just, I get this sense that... It's like you guys are on two different pages. Like they want to go back to how it was before. They want to kind of tie you down. And you're wanting a healthier relationship. You're wanting to have a balance between your, this relationship and hobbies and friends and school or whatever else. You know, you, you, you want to have those days where you just stand together inside all the time. But you, you also want to have some sense of freedom. You don't want to just deal with this person going through your phone and deleting all your female or your male friends, you know? You don't want to deal with this person freaking out if you've been gone for at the grocery store for more than an hour, you know what I mean? Like, this person's very, code, like, extremely codependent is what the energy I get. Or at least to you, they felt. It, it felt like it was, like, smothering in the past, I think. And I just think you guys are on two different pages. Like, you've, you've grown up and you've matured a lot and you've changed. And they haven't really changed a whole lot. So they're coming back to you with a love offer. But it's almost like the love offer is like, is that really worth it? You know what I mean? It's like they're kind of just the same person they used to be. <laughs> they're kind of just still the same jealous, insecure person they always were. Um, I kind of feel like for some of you, you might have just gotten back with this person now. Because I, or, they're, or it's coming in soon. Because I do kind of feel this. there's something going on with you and another person right now, for sure. Uh, and it's like you feel trapped. You know, you do feel you don't know how to get out of that trap. You're like, you do kind of want this person. You do want to see if this could go somewhere. But you, like, don't want to be trapped again. You don't want to lose yourself. You don't want to lose your freedom. You want to have your hobbies. And you want this person to have their hobbies, too. You know, you don't want to keep dealing with their insecurities and bitterness and, and codependency. And I feel like your guides are giving you these epiphanies on how to deal with this. Like you're going to have this new sense of understanding, maybe um, having empathy for them too, kind of understanding like their childhood, their history, their past, the things that made them the way that they were, um, you know, kind of trying to, to, trying to, I think you guys have some communication issues. So I feel like you guys are really trying to, you might have throat chakra blocks as well. Like your throat chakra might be blocked. Theirs might be blocked. You might want to work on that. It's probably from miscommunicating with each other because I feel like there's either arguments or it's like you guys just like don't understand each other sometimes like you're on different pages like there's just there's just this weird miscommunication energy but you're having these epiphanies or you're going to be having these epiphanies I think on just having empathy for this person and also just understanding what you need to do to move forward 
um, you know, understanding how to get out of this trapped energy, how to, to move forward in your life with or without this person. And high priestess of spirit here, spirit is all about intuition. And high priestess of air, that's about communication. And I think that's saying, like, use your intuition and then also, like, communicate. Like, use your intuition to communicate. Use, read the person's body language, read their, read their energy, read, like communicate in a more, I don't know, there's just like, a, you guys just need to communicate in a different way. I feel like you guys are going back and forth. I think you're developing your intuition more, so it kind of makes sense. It all ties together where it's like, since you're developing your intuition more, you're going to be having more and more epiphanies, especially with the lion's gate coming up on the 8th. It's like you're getting into this high vibrational energy. And so you're kind of realizing how you need to communicate. You're, you're, you're having this like new sense of understanding of what you need to do next. Like you're having these like psychic downloads come in so that you know what the next steps to take are. This could, if you're not already with this person, this could also refer to telepathically communicating. Like you maybe like having dreams about each other or like in the astral realm, like telepathically, like through meditation, sending each other messages, like just telepathic communication, like having that psychic bond with somebody. So you might kind of be communicating, if you're feeling their energy and you're feeling like they're about to come back in, maybe this is like somebody, it could be like a twin flame even, but somebody that like you're, you're picking up that they're coming back in soon. And you might be telepathically communicating with them and being like, okay, you go ahead and come back in. In the physical world, you can go ahead and reach out and send me a message but you better understand, look at that, 34, 43, too. Look at how that's reversed. That's interesting. Anyway, but yeah, you're, you're like, you better understand, like, yeah, you can come back in in the physical world. You can message me. You can reach out, but you better understand I'm not going to be trapped again. I'm not going to deal with that energy again. I'm not going to, I'm going to have true love. I'm going to have a stable, healthy relationship, or I'm going to have nothing with you. Like, you're kind of giving them a warning through your dreams or through meditation or some kind of telepathic communication like okay you have the green light to come on back in to message to message me to reach out but you better do it right you better have a solid love offer you better have something different to offer because I'm definitely not going back to how it used to be I think you guys might have different love languages as well um, so for others, for those of you that are not in connection, I feel like it's just, yeah, you're telepathically communicating and you're basically giving them a warning. You're like, you better do it right if you plan on coming back in. If you can agree to that, then go ahead. But I'm going to have boundaries. And if you can respect those, then come on back in. For those of you that are already like in communication or like communications like really close by, um, I feel like basically your spirit guides are kind of showing you intuitively like how to communicate with this person, like what the person's triggers are what works for them, what doesn't, what their love language is, how you can get through to them. Because I feel like in the past, you have not been able to get through to them. It's like there's this miscommunication or arguments. It's like they, you guys don't understand each other, you know? And this person is really codependent, so that's part of it. It's like you're kind of almost too much for them, and they're not enough for you. It's like you want adventure. You want fun. You want a lot out of life. You And this person is just kind of somebody that just wants to kind of, I don't know, I don't know if like lazy is the right word, they're just not, they don't have your energy level, you know what I mean, they don't want the same things in life that you want, that's not what I feel, at least, and, and you'll know if this is your person, if this is like, if this is your reading, this should resonate with you, you should know who I'm talking about, you know what I mean, it should be pretty clear to you. When this person comes back in, it might be kind of lust at first, it might just be kind of like, it's just like lust. It's like maybe like the honeymoon phase or just coming back around. But at a certain point, you're going to be like, you know what? This is playful reverse. You're going to be like, I don't want to play anymore. We're not playing. We need to communicate. We need to figure this out. We need to move forward, you know, with love. This needs to be love or it's just it's not going to work. I also feel like when this person comes back in, they're going to try to seduce you to get their way. And you're, you get to a certain point where you're like, I'm not playing. I'm not doing this. Uh-uh. We're not. No. It's like it's a manipulative energy almost. Because I sense this person feels really insecure and codependent to me. And so I kind of see them coming back in. And I see them just trying to seduce you to get their way. Like, oh, do you really have to go out with your friends tonight? Like, can't we just have this be our night? And you're like, no. Friday night is my night. 
with the boys or with the girls. I'm not going to give that up for you. Like, this is what I do every night, every Friday night, you know? Like, they're going to want to change your routine, and you're going to be like, no, screw that. I'm going to stick to my routine, and you have to stick to it, you know? And this person is going to try to, like, be seductive and sweet. Maybe even try to have sex with you to get you to not go places. <laughs> Maybe it's like they'll try to leave the house to go somewhere and they're going to like try to like pull you back and like have sex with you or like do something to you and like try to be all cute and charming. Um, and I think it might work at first, but I think at a certain point you're going to be like, no, screw this. This is manipulative. Like, why do you not want to have sex any other time other than when I'm like about to go hang out with my friends or about to go to work, or about to go do something without you. You know what I mean? It's funny, there's a lawnmower outside. I'm gonna have to pause the video, and I think it's synchronicity. It's like this person's like a fucking lawnmower. It's like you they try to distract you. Like, I almost get the sense that, like, your guides are probably, they're pro I don't know, I think they might want better for you, but I kind of get the sense they're gonna let you choose, but they're just gonna give you this understanding and clarity of how to communicate with this person, like how to intuitively work through this, the issues. And this person is like, because this person knows that they're toxic, you know what I mean? Like they know deep down like that they're trying to control you and try to like, trying to hold you back. And it doesn't mean that they're a horrible person, it's just they've been through a lot in their lives and so they have a lot of insecurity. So if they really love somebody and they're afraid of losing them, they'll try to like tie them down and make sure that they can't get away from them basically. You know what I mean? Like they'll cling really tightly and just they just have a very they just have a very strong codependent energy. And so I think that you've really got to be on the lookout for them trying to manipulate you and seduce you, be it mental seduction, physical sexual seduction, whatever kind of seduction it is. Could even be glamour or black magic that they do on you. Like they could be doing, they could, if they do witchcraft, could be some glamour spells or some like binding spells or some shit going on here too. Um, because it's like, yeah, it's like you want to communicate, you want to work through this and you, you want to, you want to like have this intuitive open communication and say like, hey, I don't like it when you do this. Like we need to have this healthy communication, this healthy relationship, like I'm going to have time with my friends. I'm going to have a balance between this relationship and work and school and hobbies and whatever I love. And you just, you have to watch out for this energy because you're going to try to have those commu that communication. And I feel like, I feel like in the past you guys like argued and misunderstood each other. So it was easy for them just to attack you, but you're going to come to them in such an intuitive, you're going to, you're having these epiphanies from your spirit guides. And so you're going to be coming to them in such an intuitive, soft, open way that they're not going to be able to deny it. They're not going to be able to sabotage it. You know what I mean? Like before, let's say before you were like, fuck this. I'm going out with my friends. I'm tired of your shit. Like I need my freedom back off before they could play the victim and they could be like oh my god you're so toxic why are you abandoning me blah 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 but when you come to them in an intu in intuitive open way and you're just like hey baby like I really love going out with my friends on Friday night or I really have this I have this hobby that I want to focus on or this work that I want to focus on or whatever you know it's like I love going out with my friends on Friday night like I, I want that to stay part of my routine but you know I'll I'll try to be home at a certain hour if I can. Um, and, you know, if you want to go out with your friends, you can feel free to do that too. I just, I need this. This is something I need for me. Like when you communicate with that like that, they can't play the victim and be like, oh, you're being toxic because you're being so open and calm and just communicating in such a healthy way that they can't, they can't like sabotage it and knock it back you know what I mean like they can't just be like oh fuck you for that because it's like you're communicating openly about how what you feel and how you want and so what they're going to do instead is get into this lust energy and try to seduce you and try to manipulate you to tie you down like oh like do you really have to go out with your friends tonight like I was hoping we could like like wear lingerie for you or something like that like that kind of energy like oh I was hoping like we could do something else or just I don't know. They're just, they're going to be manipulative and they're going to be seductive. And so you have to set boundaries with them and you have to realize that they might, they might start using se sex to try to manipulate you. So you need to be aware of when they're actually wanting to have sex and when they're just using sex 
as a way to get what they want and a way to manipulate you. Like, keep note of that when this relationship comes back around, if it hasn't already. Keep note of, like, them having sex with you and then an hour later they coincidentally ask a favor from you or coincidentally that's they want you to stay home tonight and not go out with your friends you know what I mean like just use they're gonna they're using some type of seduction or lust or sex or something of that sort could be mental seduction too like I said it could be like mind tricks and shit like that or black magic or whatnot but you need to be aware of this lust energy definitely you need to be aware of of them using sex to manipulate you you need to be aware of them playing with your head um because again, this person is just so codependent. And so it's like when they love somebody, they just don't want to let them out of their sight. They're afraid of losing them. And so they just, they, ugh, I don't like that energy. I really don't. Because it's like, it's like the kind of person that like goes through your phone and like deletes all your female friends or deletes all your guy friends or, ugh, I don't, I don't like that energy at all. Ugh. So yeah, just be aware of that. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. I think your guides do want better for you, like I said, but they're going to let you make that choice. They're going to, you know, come through intuitively and tell you and show you how to communicate with this person so that this person can't just knock it down. You know, they're going to show you how to communicate in a calm, healthy way so that you can express your needs and set your boundaries without this person being able to just like... You know what I mean? Like, this person's going to try to block it, though. They're going to try to block it through less. They're going to try to, you're going to try to communicate, and they're going to try to just, you know, like, before they would just be toxic and just argue or just whatever, or just, you know, say you were, you were doing this or that. It's just like a, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's like a power struggle with them. I don't like this, per, I don't like this energy. I don't like this person. But yeah, they're going to they're going to get in this lust energy where they're going to try to since since their old methods are going to stop working because you're communicating in a new way, they're going to resort to going into this lust energy, you know? It's like before they could just argue and claim that you were being toxic because you were communicating in a harsh way because you were tired of their crap, but now that you're communicating in a healthier way, they're not going to be able to do that. So they're just going to try to like be sweet and seductive and manipulative instead. And you have to, again, you have to be aware of that. You have to be aware of the manipulation. You have to be on top of it. You have to not let them do that. You have to keep with the, up with the spirit and air energy of intuitive communication, honest, open communication. Like, we're going to have a healthy, stable relationship or we're not going to have a relationship at all. You're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to seduce me. You're not going to just coincidentally want to have sex or want to do whatever as soon as I'm about to go out with my friends none of that energy and you're going to get to a point where you're like I'm not fucking playing this is love this is real stable love or it's nothing at all um yeah that's where you guys are at basically I'll see if I can get some more clear first well I don't know I think that's well let me see anything else you want to say about this relationship water High Priestess of Earth, Self-Worth, The Fledgling, and Water. Yeah, this person needs, like, more grounded energy, more Earth energy. They need to recognize their self-worth. They need to work on themselves. Because if they just jump into this relationship, they're going to do the same shit they used to do. They need to, I mean, not that you guys, not that you can't support them and you can't be together. I'm not saying that, but they're probably going to need some, like, counseling or some kind of mental help or something. They need to work on themselves, too. You know what I mean? Because it's like, if they still have that those insecurities, they're going to drag you down and they're going to project those insecurities onto you. So if they want this new start with you, they're going to need to to heal, to get in this water energy, this earth energy, to ground, to heal, to work on themselves, to have a healthy relationship if they want to have this love. And you can't... I mean, this person is terrified of losing you, so I'm not saying that you should dump them if you're together. I'm just saying that you should request that they get counseling or that they get help or that, you know, you need to set boundaries and you need to stay with those boundaries no matter how much they cry, how much they manipulate you, how much they do this or that. You need to stick with those boundaries above all else and do not let them get past those boundaries no matter what, no matter how. They'll try to manipulate you. They'll try to play the victim it's almost like somebody that has, like, borderline personality disorder. And I'm not, you know, full disclaimer, I, I cannot diagnose mental illness. You would need a counselor to do that. But I, 
I get that. I get similar energy. I mean, even though it's not actually borderline personality disorder, I get similar energy to that. Um, and it's like, yeah, they, they need to work on themselves. They need to pro probably get counseling, get mental help, heal, um, ground themselves, uh, learn healthy ways of communicating, um, or it's just not going to work. And you, so if you're together, you might need to tell them that. You might need to say like, hey, we're, we need to go to couples counseling or you need to get counseling yourself for this because I'm not I'm just going to deal, I'm not going to deal with this my whole life, you know. I'm not going to just put up with your insecurities my whole life. I want more than that. I want a healthy relationship, you know. Because I feel like you were very unstable when you were with them and then you worked on yourself and you got more stable, but they didn't. They're still unstable and they're coming back to you unstable. So that's where, yeah, they need to, they have to do self-work, a lot of self-work, a lot. Their insecurities and their their fears and their anxieties are going to weigh you down. They're going to drive you insane. They're going to mentally break you at a certain point and you're going to lose yourself with this person and you're going to end up depressed and numb and just tired and it's just, you don't want that. You know what I mean? Like if they're going to, if they're going to, if you guys are going to have this relationship, they need to do it right or they need to not do it at all. And you need to let them know that. I think that's what I get from this reading, at least if you're going to have that love. So anyway, let me know, um, you know, if this resonates with you, let me know and let me know what your story is. Um, please subscribe to me if it resonates too and share me out. Also, if you want a, pri a paid private reading, my prices are below. My prices are pretty reasonable. Um, and yeah, you can email me. Thank you.